In this video, we're going to revisit the product rule that we use for derivatives and use that to come up with a formula that we're going to call integration by parts. And this is going to allow us to integrate certain expressions that would otherwise be impossible to integrate without this process. So let's just start by reviewing the product rule. Uh, if we wanted to take the derivative with respect to x of some function u times some function v, uh, that's going to be the derivative of u times v plus u times the derivative of v. Or written in Leibniz notation, it would be du dx times v plus u times dv dx. Um, just for the purposes of solving this here and, and getting this formula that I spoke of, uh, we'll write the d dx of u times v. And now let's integrate both sides. So we're going to involve the integral here since we're looking for an integration formula. And when we take the derivative of u times v, and then we take the integral of that, we're going to get what we started with, plus or minus some constant. Now, for this formula and what we do here, we actually don't need the constant. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced than we need to know right now. But essentially, we're going to get back to where we started. So the integral of the derivative is just going to be u times v. Over on this side, since we're integrating two different terms, we can rewrite this as the integral of du dx times v with respect to x plus the integral of u times dv dx with respect to x. So simplifying the left side, we get u times v, like we said. And on the right side, we're going to have dx's that cancel. So we have the integral of v with respect to u plus the integral of u with respect to v. Now, if we solve this for one of these integrals on the right side, we get a formula here. It does not immediately look useful to us, um, but it, it's actually going to be very useful in solving equations or solving integrals where we have a function. Um, well, we're going to have functions that are going to be, like I said, impossible to integrate otherwise. And it, it's best to probably look at where this is going to be useful looking at examples. So I would recommend watching a video, uh, the video, where I work some examples on integration by parts.